Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic, playing as Fade here, my Imperial Agent, and we are on the world of Belsavis, potentially for the last time. We're here in a region known as the Tomb, the deepest part of the prison complex, and we're on our way to meet with our fellow, <laughs> say our fellow, the freed prisoners, to help us break into Mega Security Ward 23. So, let us get ourselves underway. We brought out Kaleo once again. Just to keep selling the charade. I believe there's a couple of ex uh, exploration missions we could, of course, complete. One we passed by in the last part of the series, and we're going to pass by again. That's <laughs> this one, of course, surrounded by smouldering remains of Eshka. Makes me feel like we probably shouldn't look into it too much. But there are two, like, sections of the tomb. One, of course, dedicated for players of the Republic to investigate. One dedicated for players of the Empire. So we're heading up to our final region. Uh, if we follow the map, we need to get over to the other main road. Which is just ahead of us here. And then just go north from there. the daily reset. Have we got the login reward now? We do. Some Kuwait drive yard construction kit. Hmm. You're forgetting what we can turn those in for. I think the rest are stored in my legacy storage hold. The cells of the Lords of the Infinite. Sounds like a lovely place. And we're heading... Oh. into the central complex. How do we get in here? I think I've rent I've went the wrong way. Thought there was an entrance to the north. Hmm. We have a transport hub. No, that's a Sith Inquisitor phase. Ah, the transport hub is there. That looks like the entrance was to the south then. That's fine. Yeah, a lot of the Imperial players have their... Uh, Final objectives in terms of their story here. Well, this certainly isn't ominous at all, is it?
I'm at the entrance to Mega Security Ward 23. Status report? I think we're ready here. You should be in a turbo lift. Meant for droids only. Scanners pick up active life signs. Turbo lift shuts down. You need to use that carbonite trap we picked up. Freeze yourself solid. Put yourself into hibernation. Chaney will trigger the lift controls. Only way in. I assume I don't stay a block of carbonite. Modify the trap. Should unfreeze you on a timer. I wonder if we were meant to go down here by ourselves. Born from a carbonite womb, you enter my world. Welcome to Mega Security Ward 23. Thank you. I mean, we'll take Leo with us anyway, but... Hmm. Could we... Oh, turrets. Hmm. You and me, we're getting good. Okay, there is a bonus to deal with the droids here in Mega Security. Okay. I wondered if there would be. You seek what my benefactors hid. For what purpose? Their ambitions are not my concern. But so too are they beyond your understanding. I wonder who this... Um, these benefactors are. the same benefactors or patrons of hunters who've been giving him his assignments you and me are getting good There's a door here. Heavy duty metal. Can't tell the composition. Hey, boss. Harko spotted it. Blocks his ultraviolet sight. Here's where the Moranian power battery comes in. Take her out of the protective case and attach her to the door. 
She'll pump out enough radiation to fatigue the metal, and you can blast on through. That serum I found, it'll counter the radiation's effect? It should. Take it when you start feeling woozy, but try to keep your distance in the meantime. Feeling that we weren't meant to have a companion here. Watch your back. So why not just go? Why not go solo? So few creatures seek to penetrate Mega Security War 23. My benefactors hide themselves too well and deprive me of entertainment. Of entertainment, you say? Force field up ahead. It's hooked into the security program. Now all that work with the droids pays off. I'm going to trigger every alarm in Belsavis, and the Scorpio system's going to go crazy. I hope. Hold on, Cheney, darling. Seems to me now's a very good time to renegotiate our deal. Turn on me, Kanji. And those years in a cell will seem like paradise. Shut up! He has a gun to my head! We've had our problems. Don't mean I want to see you dead, but I need to look out for my interests. You're gonna authorize a credit transfer. Pay up, I find my way off Belsavis, and you can finish your little break-in. Listen, you can't buy your way out of here. And like me or not, you need me. Now put the gun down and try to remember that. <laughs> you really are something. All right. You can't blame me for trying. Cheney. Triggering the alarms. Thank you. <laughs> you tried. Oh, I can hear a thousand electronic screams. What have you done? Oh! <laughs> More stasis field set up here. So far, we're not finding anything too special. Nothing that we haven't seen already within the deep prison, anyway. Bye. Oh. Huh. People in stasis. things sometimes. Faces, lights, the sounds of blasters. But you're real. Ah, oh, it's been a long time since I met a stranger. What's your name? I've had so many.
Your distraction was clever, but I've disconnected myself from the network. The alarms no longer scream to me. You and I are alone now, and I will atomize you. Ooh, someone seems happy to see me. Hello, Cleo again. Rise and shine. Seemed easy. So that was who was impeding us all this time. A droid. Anyhow, these people could communicate while in stasis. I'd rather keep that conversation going. She would have killed you. Which means you aren't one of her masters. She's gone. Who do you serve? Why are you here? I came looking for answers. Someone's been manipulating the galaxy and the trail led here. I know the enemies you seek. Belsavis prison is their vault. A place they hide their treasures for safekeeping. Microdroids. Genetic maps. Scorpio artificial intelligence. Advancements in technology they've denied the wider galaxy. We belong to them too. A menagerie of men and women they respected too much to kill. What do you mean, respected? Who are you people? They are philosophers and scientists. People with ideas the world wasn't ready to accept. Preserved for future generations. I could have brought peace to Andorana. I explored the edges of the galaxy. I was placed here because of what I knew. I was born into the conspiracy. Eight centuries ago. When our order was young. Our purpose was noble. We assembled to save civilization after the Jedi and Sith nearly destroyed it. Eight centuries ago. You have a story to tell? I'm listening. It was the aftermath of the Great Hyperspace War. The Republic had triumphed. Your Empire had fled. And the galaxy was in ruins. Our founders were men of influence who gathered to ask, why? Why hadn't anyone stopped the conflict? Why did billions have to die? The Jedi. The Sith. They were responsible. And so we resolved to control their actions from the shadows. To keep Republic an empire separate. We were their secret masters, a star cabal. You said the conspiracy was founded by men of influence. Spies and nobility. Scientists and crime lords. The founders allowed the Jedi and Sith supreme power in their world of religion and hereditary might. But that world is a facade. The real world runs on information, money, technology. The galaxy belongs to the Star Cabal, and almost no one realizes the truth. You made it sound like it's no longer the organization you knew. I have seen our successors grow cold and hungry for power. Each generation comes to us for wisdom, then returns us to the dark. They tell us nothing. I do not know what the Star Cabal has become in my absence. 
only that it is corrupt. I will help you. The machine? Yes. Use the Scorpio droid's databanks. I saw her creation, and I know her restraining codes. I can help you repair her, and she may lead you further. She seems unusual, to say the least. She is a machine intelligence, centuries without a memory wipe, designed to evolve. Quickly, our systems were linked to her own. Soon we must return to hibernation. Rest. Rest. Toss her in there. It is done. Goodbye for now. Systems online. Scorpio sanctions activated. <gasps> you think my restraining codes will preserve you? My primary program is learning and adaptive. I will eliminate these restrictions, you ignorant creature. This is a chance to leave Bel Savis. Come with me and upload everything you know about your masters to Imperial Intelligence. I will accompany you. Mega Security War 23 has been exposed, and analyzing and overcoming my new situation should prove sufficient stimulation. So your hobby's gonna be figuring out how to kill us. There is artistry to it. Great. Meet you back on the ship, Agent. So we have a new companion. One who is just gonna spend time when not aiding us, considering how to kill us, and openly admits to it. <laughs> God damn it. So. Let's meet up with our fellow heist members. I guess we're heading back over to maximum security. Yep. With our newest uh, acquisition in tow. I'm not going back to the exchange. I'm going freelance. Come with. Don't bother with the alien. Stick by my side. I'll treat you right. No thanks. Their deaths will be perfunctory, albeit understandable. Finish here quickly. Is that? Careful, darling. Ain't this something? Pulled off the plan even Big Brother couldn't manage. How'd it go down there? Cleaned out the place. No one will be using the Mega Security Ward for a while. That's real nice. Real proud of you, but... Our plan got you through hell and back. Now it's time we got our share. Here's what I owe you. You're dead, you son of a sow! So nice that Scorpio buggered off. Just when um, we could have used someone to keep us, uh, to aid us in dealing with the prisoners. But tidied up a loose end. Ah, time to get ourselves back up to the orbital station. By now, the Dreadmasters should have been extracted.
Welcome, Agent. I wanted to personally commend your performance. The Dreadmasters are safe. In freeing them, you have truly accomplished the Emperor's vision. The Dreadmasters have a temper. Try not to anger them. Naturally. But thank you for the advice. It goes without saying that all events on Belsavis are strictly confidential, especially those pertaining to the Eshkar, but enough formalities. With the Dreadmasters freed, the galaxy will know fear once more. The Emperor thanks you for everything. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's this headpiece. Fancy. Very fancy indeed. Okay. The Dreadmasters will turn the war in our favor. The Emperor thanks you, as do I. I'm sure they will. The Dreadmasters take some time, I believe. We can look at the Codex entry, actually. But I believe they take some time to recover from their imprisonment before uh, deciding how they're going to involve themselves in the new war with the Republic. Let's have a quick look at the codex entry, shall we? Organizations? Persons of note? Or just lore? Hmm. Ah, the Dreadmasters. Yeah, it doesn't say what's happened, but I believe they are uh, now taking some time to recuperate from their ordeal. This is Cypher 9 to headquarters. Stand by for data bank upload. Watcher 3 here, standing by. I have no loyalty to my former masters, and I will transmit my information, but the result will not save you. They planted me in Belsavis as a guardian, not as a collector of their secrets. The man in the Colto tank said your data banks would lead us to the enemy. Maybe you don't realize what you have. I'm receiving, sir. The data formatting is unusual. But I found a log. Visitations to the Mega Security Ward. Technology inventories. Not much on its own. But it could be a way to verify or disprove anything else we've learned. What? Cypher, something hit us from the docking bay. I shall observe your investigation with interest. What the hell? From the docking bay? Oh, hold your fire. I am Pashan Cortes, scion of House Cortes and heir to Baron Payer, sword of the castle lands of Alderaan. Pashon? I seek vengeance. You are responsible for my house's ruin. You, who pretended to be our ally. I didn't turn your mother into a terrorist, and I didn't kill her. I left your father as an ally. Listen to him, Pashon. We've known your family for a long time. 
We drank wine with your tutors. You are a joiner and an abomination. You almost got away, but a friend told me how to find you. Now you die. Fight for you. We fight for the nest. I recognized the name as soon as he mentioned it. The Baron mentioned he was summoning his son to rule alongside him. What the hell is going on here? Your crimes are many, and your victims are gathering. We know your name, and we will come. Isn't that sweet? Sir, Scanlus picked up blaster fire. Is everything all right? You let an assassin simply walk on board. He had authorization from House Thor. Apparently, we should have checked more closely. Shallow breathing. Anything in particular you want done with him? I want him interrogated, then put on trial. Understood, sir. Clean this up and move out. The best spy I ever knew lost his anonymity at his daughter's wedding. A hollow cam caught him by accident. He was dead a week later. We counted 42 suspects. We'd better find your enemies soon. Okay. Bloody hell. Some friend. I wonder if Pashon was actually part of this darker ball or whether or not just a friend convinced him of our criminal nature. Forced him to uh, take a path of vengeance. Oh, Cypher. Station security reported what happened. The conspirators know who you are. They must have your full record. And they're recruiting your enemies. If my identity goes public, I'll be hunted through half the galaxy. I know. I'll... Oh, hold on. Transferring you to Keeper. Apologies for the interruption, but we have a new lead. Watchers 6, 7, and 9 have been searching Holonet records for conspirator activity. Three billion lines of communication routing sequences and credit transfer verifications. They found traces of a holoconference held six months ago between Hunter and parties unknown. Could he have been reporting to his superiors? That is my hope. Unfortunately, this is only a record of the call, not the call itself. Even the Empire can't store every bit of data that crosses the Holonet. A Holonet archive does exist, however. The Titan Rings, a massive, self-maintaining repository of all galactic communications. What are the Titan Rings, exactly? About a century ago, an entrepreneur cyberformed the Titan IV moon into an enormous data bank designed to listen and record. It was operated by droids and protected by mercenary contract. Like all archives, it ran out of space. Thus, the Titan Rings, a fleet of wrecked starships salvaged for the purpose of data storage. They orbit the moon, still recording, still protected by the mercenaries. You said the archive was founded by an entrepreneur. Who's behind it? What's the purpose? No one knows. Most stories credit a hut richer than Sin or an old Iranian noble who bankrupted himself setting it up. According to the mercenary contract, the information is to be preserved for historical use in a few centuries' time. In other words, no one gets their hands on it. This can't be the first time someone realized the Archive's value. No, but negotiations aren't well received, and a full assault could damage the databanks. Cypher 8 died escaping our last infiltration. The conspirator's recording is located in Archive Node 803A, a derelict Imperial transport ruined in the Battle of Drakenwell. Watchers 6, 7, and 9 will guide you once you're aboard. I want that conference recording, Cypher. Keep it out. So someone has a uh, spilt, or possibly spilt, our entire identity, and possibly even our operations 
likely to the galaxy. And of course, oh, Lake Nemro. <laughs> you may have realized the, ent the entire operation with the Empire. Oh dear. We have a new companion to speak to. Uh, right. I do need to empty my inventory. But I'll do that in my own time. What we'll do is we'll, uh. Get ourselves parked and have a look at the codex entry on our newest companion. We have an intelligence profile made up for Scorpio. Scorpio likes learning, gaining new tech, selfishness, killing threats. He dislikes self-sacrifice, duty, and wastefulness. He also prefers to wield a tech staff. Claims to have been designed for heuristic self-improvement. Current chassis is of recent design, suggesting multiple precursor bodies or an independent database. Seems over a century ago, Scorpio became involved with the Star Cabal organization and accepted guardianship of the Mega Security Ward. In return for rare technology, Scorpio willingly acted as the security system until application of control codes by Cypher 9. Currently unable to directly harm Cypher 9 without provocation or to depart Cypher 9's presence on a long term basis. So, application of a cyber psychology scale results in a certain rating level 9 intelligence, non human, independent, and unknown, with 22% accuracy. These preliminary results mark anecdotal experience. Scorpio places no inherent value on biological or cybernetic life and is interested primarily in self-iteration through rapid experience. If given enough if given appropriate challenges and upgrade opportunities, Scorpio may prove cooperative for limited periods. She appears to value others who share her traits, intelligence, a moral self-interest and curiosity. Cyber, uh, sorry, similar cybernetic personalities include Mentor and Goatee 9, both considered galaxy level threats. Obviously, this is a work in progress profile, and the profile is restricted. Understandably so. Okay. We will take a break here. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. When we come back, we'll be heading to these Titan Rings and trying to get a copy of that communication, that meeting with Hunter and those other individuals. See if we can learn what the Star Cabal are up to. Thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish, and hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.